Hey, all you pests. I mean, all you students. Sorry about that. <laughs> Just being silly. Hey, pest is one of our words we're working with this week, though, isn't it? All these little pests. We saw those boys and girls eating the pests yesterday. Yuck. Eating those insects. What are pests anyway? Pests are insects or small animals that can harm crops or annoy people. So here we've got some, those look like potato bugs. They get in the garden. They get in our gardens and eat up all the leaves. And I think they, those are potato bugs, if I know what I'm talking about. I may not, but that's what I always call them when I see them in the garden. The potato bug, they're a pest. They harm crops and annoy people. Edible. Oh, look at that. Something edible. There's some flowers that are edible in that salad. Edible flowers. Oh, there's an avocado. Look at those eggs. Those are multicolored eggs. They're edible. An interesting looking salad. That looks pretty yummy, actually. I like salads. What does it mean if it's edible? If something is edible, it's safe for people to eat. Edible. Forbidden. If something is forbidden. It's not allowed or accepted. I think this little girl snuck into her mom's makeup and using her mom's lipstick. Her mom probably said, don't get in my, don't get in my makeup. It's forbidden. <laughs> And then attitudes, your attitude to the way you think and feel about something. So our attitude about eating bugs, it said, might need to change because we probably don't want to eat bugs. But maybe we need to get a new attitude and try it out. I don't know. Are you going to? Who knows? Talking about vocabulary, let's look one more time at context clues. They're the words and sentences around an unknown word that can be con that can be clues to its meaning. And again, we're looking at multiple meaning words like we did the other day. These are words that are spelled the same and you say them the same, but they have different meanings. And so we have to look at the context clues around them in the sentence to understand which form of the word we're looking at. I auditioned and received a role in the school play. It's like a drama. It's like a performance, right? After school, my friends and I often play at the park. It's something you do with your friends. You swing, you slide, you play at the park. So these context clues, the sentence they are used in tells us which meaning of play it is. Light. I threw a pillow and broke the light in the family room. A light would be something that gives you light, like your light fixture, right? Mm -hmm. Broke a light, like a lamp or something in the family room. Even though the box was light, I asked for help. That light means it's not heavy. So they're spelled the same, you say them the same, but they have different meanings. So you have to look at the context clues to determine which light it is. All right, something else I wanna review for just a moment is central idea. Central idea, another word is main idea. We've talked a lot about this year, a lot about that this year. The central idea is what the text is mostly about. Look for text clues, headings, visuals, first or last sentence, repeated words. The central idea is built on details, like a table is built on legs. We evaluate details to determine key ideas and that support the central idea. There's examples, facts, evidence, and descriptions. So what do you think the central idea of our story is this week? What do you think the central idea of bug bites is? Well, any ideas? Eating bugs is good. We should eat more bugs. They're healthy. What's, what's some other main ideas? They're weird to some people, but some people don't think they're food. All those are kind of main ideas in this text, central ideas of this text. So what I want you to do today is instead of me reading it to you again, since I already have read it to you yesterday, I want you to find somebody who you could really gross out and read this story to, whether it's your mom or your little brother or sister or grandma or somebody, find somebody who doesn't like bugs and read this story to them. <laughs> That's mean, isn't it? But it'd be fun. So go do it. Find somebody who doesn't like bugs and read bug bites to them and see what they think about it. See if you can talk them into um, trying bugs. <laughs> All right. Well, you've got two assignments to do other than read bug bites for me today. The first one is that we're going to have another spelling practice. So your spelling test is tomorrow. So we'll practice the next 10 words today on the spelling practice. And then also we're going to do another little writing sentence assignment. This one's called, This Is Me. 
It says, look in the mirror. Now look at the person sitting next to you. If there's nobody sitting next to you, don't worry about it. Eyes, ears, hair, a nose, and a mouth, right? What are your, what are your, where do your eyes and ears and hair and nose look like? Use the page to record words and phrases that describe yourself clearly. Okay. So today, I don't want you so much to have to write it in sentences. I want you to give some words to describe. There's questions to get you thinking. What's the color of your hair? Maybe my hair used to be more blonde, but now I'll, I'll pretend it's still blonde. Compare the color of your hair to something blonde, like um, the color of, I don't know, dead grass. That's not very <laughs> good, is it? Um, is it more the color of a daffodil, honey, or butterscotch? Uh, okay, so maybe more like honey. I'm just showing you what to do. Or wheat. Oh, more like wheat, I think. Um, how long is it? Um, about two inches long. Is it shaved, curled, braided, or straight? Pretty straight. Okay, so we're just using some words to describe our hair. What kind of words do we use when we're describing the noun? Do you remember? They're called adjectives. So basically, you're listing adjectives today. We've been talking about using descriptive words to make our sentence more interesting. So on your test tomorrow, you're going to have um, some questions, uh, some sentences that you'll need to write about your hair, your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. And to get a good, to get them correct, you'll need to write them using some descriptive words that you think about today. Okay, so. That's what you need to do, your spelling assignment, and then give some adjectives, some words, some phrases that describe these things you see when you look in a mirror. Don't forget to read Bug Bites to somebody who's scared of bugs. <laughs> okay, have a great day. I'll see you later.